everybody welcome back to my channel well I hate to admit this but I am on my way to Dairy Queen I don't just have a hankering for a blizzard I have a severe craving for one I just it's like I can't even get it off my mind I finally got my tummy back to normal and now I'm craving this blizzard and I'm not a sugar addict. I've never been one to eat sweets every day or, you know, eat ice cream or candy. I never eat candy. I don't, I don't, even, like, I don't even like candy. Once in a while, I'll get a yearning for one of these, um, you know, the vending machines that they have in the stores with the bubble gum in them, the double bubble. I'll get a hankering for one of those if I have a quarter in my pocket. <laughs> I'll pull it out and get me a piece of double bubble gum. But, um, it's just, I don't even like chocolate. I, I do like uh, Hershey's milk chocolate, but I don't crave it. I've never craved chocolate or, um, I don't even eat Butterfingers. I don't know why I love them so much in these blizzards. But I wish I lived 100 miles from a Dairy Queen because then I would have an excuse to, um, to not go. But, I mean, I'm only like five miles, maybe less from the Dairy Queen. <laughs> and even when I lived in Asbury Port, the Dairy Queen was there in Belmar. It was just right across the Shark River. It was easy to go there all the time, too. I'm not getting a large this time. I'm just getting a medium. If I get... The mini is just useless. There's not even any need in driving to the Dairy Queen to get a mini. And a small just leaves me craving for more. And a medium is just perfect. <laughs> like the Goldilocks of all um, blizzards. I see these OTB places. I had to Google it to see what it meant. It's an off-track betting. I guess you go in there and watch the horse races on a TV screen or something, and you can bet on it. <laughs> oh, Lord, y'all. What a waste of time and money betting on horses. That's worse than playing the, the lottery or buying those scratch-off tickets. Jill has given me those before for my birthday and I told her don't waste your money on those things oh those things are just horrible and, and I love the way like you know the your winning numbers will be 12 and 22 and 36 so every time you scratch off a number it's got a 1 and, and uh, maybe a 3 and you think it's going to be a 2 for 12 and then you think oh well you know the next one is almost the winning number and it just never is oh I hate those those lottery tickets just awful such a waste of money gosh I have to work so hard for my money there's no way I'm going to waste it on lottery tickets or o OTB or any kind of betting or gambling um but anyway, I was going to tell y'all, when I lived in Belleville, my next door neighbor, um, her husband was a, um, I don't even know if there's a, a name for them, but he was a person that um, predicted horse races. You know, he had all these computer programs that helped him predict it and everything. And uh, just, you know, just him predicting it and knowing the horses and the breeders and the jockeys and everything he was pretty accurate and so he made what is called a tip sheet so Lori would go to the racetrack there I forget the name of it in Belleville and she would take a couple of hundred of those tip sheets with her and sell them and you would just um she would just stand there at the end you know once people entered the racetrack and just sell them one after another after another for a dollar and she would make so much money and have all that cash in her purse that she would um, 
She slipped a disc in her back for carrying her purse so full of money and it being so heavy. Well, she would want me to go with her sometimes, you know, just to be be with her. And you, we, we became pretty good friends. And um, so when she would take a bathroom break or something, then I would sell the tip sheets for her. It was a lot of fun. And then we would sit and um, have coffee, you know, after she finished selling the tip sheets. And we would have coffee and, and watch some of the races. And I, I mean, I knew nothing about betting on them or what a trifecta was or exacta or perfecta or whatever but she taught me a little bit about it and I remember I did go and I think I bet whatever the least amount is two or three dollars on a horse but <laughs> that was so boring to me I couldn't stand it just sitting there watching that horse go around and around and around it's just just so boring so I, I never did that again either. I guess you have to try something once to see if you like it or not. But I know some people save their money and they'll go to Las Vegas and, you know, bet, play the slots and all of that and stay in the, the, at the MGM or the Bellagio or someplace for vacation. But it's not something that interests me. I've been to Las Vegas, but I went on my job when I was um, the nanny for the trophy wife and Mr. Krusty Feet. I didn't like it. They let me, they hired a, a babysitter to come in so that I could have an evening off and I went down into the, uh, I think we were staying at the Palacio and I went down there and tried to play some of the machines but it was I mean, they just took my money. I put a $20 bill in, and it didn't even last 15 minutes. It was horrible. It was like spending a lot of money at an arcade. But anyway, I'm here, so I'll pause it and, and get my blizzard, and I'll be right back. So this girl that works on the weekends, I I've, I've bought one from her before. She doesn't turn it upside down. I know it's at least twice I could have gotten a free one, but I don't want to do that to her. And and I know why she doesn't do it to me, because I'm elderly. You know, they, they think, um, young people think old people are dumb and stupid, and they won't know the difference. Well, I do know the difference, and I know that Dear Queen, their policy is if, it's, if they don't turn it upside down, you get a free one. But like I said, I wouldn't do that to her. <laughs> She's just trying to make some extra money being a teenager that she is. Have y'all noticed that as you get older and your hair gets gray that people treat you differently? I guess I, I was the same way. I always would bend over backwards to try to help an elderly person, you know, if, um, if they were walking or had their hands full and needed help opening the door or something or needed help loading their groceries in the trunk of their car or whatever, I would always offer to help them. But now that I'm older and people, now that I am elderly and people want to help me, it makes me feel feeble. I, I don't want it. I want to do it all on my own. Mm. Oh, I'm in heaven. <laughs> Also, as I get older, it doesn't take much to please me. I mean, I'm happy with this, um, this Dairy Queen blizzard. I don't need diamonds or gold or... What is it, that song that Madonna sings? Vogue. <laughs> I'm not in vogue. I'm out vogue. <laughs> out of vogue, not in vogue.
I've never been one to dress to impress. I've always dressed nicely, but I dress to please myself, not to please others. One of my new subscribers told me to stop eating on camera, that it was disgusting. <laughs> I said, that's a new thing. It's called a mukbang. They're YouTubers who do nothing but eat on camera and make millions of dollars doing it. Anyway, I reckon that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed my Blizzard video. Please subscribe if you haven't done so, and you just keep on coming back.